So hey you guys, before this next video starts, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mitch McClanahan in Waynesboro, Virginia, because uh, right before I started Shenandoah, um, we were trying to get a ride back to the trailhead and Birdman Worm and I caught a ride from, from Mitch. And he was a super cool guy. He picked us up and he actually, before he took us back to the trailhead, he went and gave us a tour of the mansion up at Swananoa, um, Swananoa Castle. And I wanted to get a bunch of that footage in these videos, but I don't know how or why it happened, but somewhere along the way, I lost the video. So, Mitch, I wanted to, first of all, thank you for taking time out of your day to show us around and uh, show us a good time and give us a ride back to the trailhead. And I wanted to apologize to you because I really wanted to get some of that footage in these episodes. Unfortunately, all I have is like two pictures from that day and they're pictures of me. And you guys all see enough pictures of me as it is, so I'm not even gonna bother posting them. But sorry about that, Mitch, and thanks again. About 7 a.m., just left camp. I am headed 19 miles. Hopefully, I can get it to the big, get to the uh, Big Meadows Wayside um, before they close, and maybe get a burger, get some type of snack. And I desperately need to charge because the camera batteries are getting low. doing over there huh what you doing bear you gonna let me pass huh what you doing huh hey bear get you get see get out of there bear Who was walking away? So some of you out there might think that uh, I'm overreacting a little bit when it comes to these bear encounters, especially because I'm in Shenandoah, and everyone knows they're kind of like big dogs here, and they're pretty easy to scare off. Um, that being said. You never know, man. Like, I'm not going to take my chances with a freaking 200 to 400 pound animal that's got razor sharp talons, you know, and could have a cub somewhere. So I'd rather chase the thing off, get it out of my line of vision to the point where I know it's safe to walk by and I don't have to worry about anything, you know, running out of the bushes at me. Um, it's not that I'm like terrified of them, but if one gets too close, yeah, I'm terrified of them. And rightfully so. Everyone should be. Things are big. Um, so like you saw with that last clip, I was talking to it kind of calmly. Just like, hey, what's up? How's it going? And then uh, I guess the thing took it the wrong way. Turn around and it started, took a couple steps towards me and started walking towards me. So I had to kind of get a little more firm and let it know and run it off. So I could pass by safely. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. So the plan for now is I'm about eight miles into my day. Ow, stinging nettles. They're everywhere all over the trail right now. It's so annoying. Um, but I'm about two miles from Lewis Mountain Campground and I need to go there because my camera battery's almost dead. All my backups are almost dead. My phone's got 30% and my external battery is down to one dot, which means I have like no way to charge anything. So I'm gonna stop here and hang for a couple hours. 
that'll put me at about 10 miles for the day so far and then I'm gonna uh, finish and it should once I'm done charging it should take me about three and a half hours to bang out about nine more which will get me to the next campground and I'm gonna try to stealth somewhere near there that's the plan for the day hey 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 bear, coming through. Hey, made it to Lewis Mountain Campground. 2015 when I came through here, I stayed in that little cabin, right there. So I ended up spending several hours at Lewis Mountain Campground and charging a bunch of my stuff. And uh, I decided that I would just wait for Birdman and Worm to show up. And they got there. Um, Toki showed up and Patches also showed up too. I don't think you guys have met Patches yet. I'm sure you've met Toki. But anyway, um, we decided we're all going to go to Big Meadows Campground anyway, which is another campground. And we're going to get a, a tent spot and split it there. It's like 15 bucks for a tent pad, but you can split it between like everyone. So it's going to cost us each like three bucks. They have $1.75 five minute showers and uh, laundry for a buck and it's a quarter for 10 minutes to dry. So looking forward to getting there. I'm hoping I can do it before this rain comes. I got about four miles left before I get to the wayside where I can hit an ATM. And then uh, it's on to the campground, which is only another like 0.9. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I've only seen two bear today. I'm a little disappointed, but I have been kind of noisy. And I'm up on a ridge line now, so oh, what can you do? Super foggy. Good thing I'm almost to this wayside. I think it's the only ATM in all of Shenandoah. Insane in the year uh, 2018, isn't it? I may make it just in time. It looks like it's gonna storm pretty bad. I feel a little bit of a mist right now. But, whew, less than a half mile. And I'm booking. Okay, I just took the trail up to the that's supposedly up to the wayside and I have no clue where to go because look you can't see anything everything's clouded in I'm going to assume it's this way apparently the place is somewhere around here I just cannot tell for the life of me where Big Meadows Wayside Bear Boobs So I just woke up here at uh, Big Meadows Campground. It's probably the worst night's sleep I've had on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we got into, I got into the wayside last night and I got to get a quick bite to eat. And then right before I got to the campground, it started dumping buckets. Uh, Birdman, Worm, Toki, and Patches all, we all got here. They all got set up. Everybody's stuff got pretty wet. Before I passed out, I, uh, I didn't realize that when I was setting up my tent, a, a ton of water got in it. I was literally bailing, um, bailing water out of my tent with a mug. Uh, woke up at 2, I woke up at 3, I, I woke up at 4, and I just woke up at 5 and said screw it. But anyway, I had puddles in my tent this morning. All my clothing's pretty much wet, so I just packed everything into a trash bag here. And there is laundry and showers. And I'm gonna go try to do that. All my rain gear is soaked too. So, I mean, I'm just going like this. It's, so, it's a miserable morning, man. 
drying, washing everything because rain. So after an eventful morning of all the rain and the laundry and drying all my crap and getting a shower, we were like three minutes away from walking up to the wayside to get hot coffee and breakfast. And what happens? All the electricity goes out everywhere. So I can't even get coffee or breakfast now and I'm miserable and I swear to God, if there was a baby here right now, I would probably punch it. Because that's how upset I am right now. I've had no caffeine and I'm not happy. So I made some instant Folgers coffee, had some delicious peaches and cream oatmeal, and I'm finishing up, I'm packing up, I'm going to go ahead and hike to Luray. I think everybody else is going to hitch there and meet me there, and we're going to get a hotel room at the Quality Inn for the night so we can try to dry all our stuff out because my stuff's going to be soaked by the time I get there again. At least everything I'm wearing is. So. <sighs> Looking forward to another hot shower in a hotel room. this mmm sour gummy love it's nice so I got into Luray yesterday uh, caught back up with the crew as you can see we just trash this hotel room well it's not trashed but we hiker trashed it but gonna head out shortly and uh, be in front royal tomorrow that's the goal Just made it back to Thornton Gap and I'm back on trail, headed towards Front Royal. So how's this? I get dropped off at Thornton Gap and I see a white blaze and I just start walking and I'm cruising and I figure out oh, I've probably gone like almost half a mile now let me see where I'm at so I take a look and I realize I just walked in the complete wrong direction for like four tenths of a mile <laughs> about Skyline Drive is every day you hit these waysides and they're always a little bit off trail and they cook food and they got blackberry milkshakes and all kinds of other delicious stuff so it's a good opportunity to hop off trail for a little bit refresh and spend some money got a tornado alert on my phone uh, and it said to take shelter but I'm not near any shelters so I'm doing the next best thing I'm sitting on a rock on top of the mountain
What's up everybody? So I didn't go very far today. I made it about 14.3 miles out of Luray. I got a very late start and I hate getting late starts, but that's what happens sometimes when you stay in towns. Um, I'm more of a get up and go get them early type of hiker, so um, a bunch of people got ahead of me today, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and be out of camp by 6.30. And uh, get into Front Royal tomorrow, and then I'm going to be splitting a room with uh, Birdman and Worm at the Quality Inn, and I'll be picking up my packages. So, uh, chucking along, chucking along. Glad I didn't get swept away by a tornado today. To get this day started. Not feeling it today. Freaking tired. I like never set up in ah, in shelters because you know people snore and they move around on their mattress pads. They make a ton of noise. So I don't sleep in shelters. I like to sleep in my tent at night. Well, last night I set up my tent. I thought I was in a pretty good spot, and then I had. I guess a couple section hikers set up their tent like maybe 10 feet from mine and uh, the one guy all night long all I heard was <laughs> and I'm, I'm not exaggerating like that's how long it, that's how loud it was so couple that with the fact that the one guy's mattress pad man all it did all night long was go I kept waking up every couple of hours because those guys were so loud, man. So, kind of tired of feeling it, man, but I'm like five miles out from Front Royal. Um, splitting a hotel room with Bird and Worm tonight. And then I'm gonna push on to Harper's Ferry and get the heck out of Virginia. I had enough of it. It's too long. Virginia goes forever and ever. <sighs> Ready to get out. I want to get up to PA and visit some family and friends. <sighs> How are you doing, pretty dear? Huh? What's up, dearie? How you doing, huh? Goodbye, Shenandoah. Mother. So crossing that last stream back there, I slipped and my left foot got wet. And it looks like I gotta cross this now. And since my feet are already wet, I'm not even gonna try to keep them dry. I'm just walking through the damn water. Ugh. Annoying.
I'm in front row of Virginia. Had a great night's stay at the Quality Inn last night. And I am now headed to the post office because my friend Corey sent me an awesome little uh, drop box with snacks and stuff. So I'm going to go see what she sent me. Oh, yes, Corey, you did very, 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 very well. I don't even have to open it anymore to see that you did amazingly well. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that mountain house. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Corey. You rock. Time to get out of Dodge. And by Dodge, I mean Front Royal.